Welcome to Engineering Scale Models, I'm Jason, your host, and it's time for another unboxing. This time it's another singlet tool that is on loan to me, and I have the chance to purchase it after reviewing it for a discounted price. Let's take a look at the box. So this is the box it came in, and it is a function generator, which was the main thing I needed for working on the project I'm working on, so we're going to open this bad boy inappropriately with a pair of scissors and I gotta, well I shouldn't tear this box up because I could possibly have to send it back you guys could help me purchase this equipment by donating on my Patreon if you so choose let's open it up, this is packed like the DM the DMM, the digital multimeter and let's see here we have a power cable USB cable, and I do plan on hooking these all up to USB. Manual. There's the box. We'll throw the box down. It'll make a noise. And here we go. We got it wrapped in foam. It was positioned center of the box. That's good. We'll take off our foam. take a look at what we have now I played with the D the digital multimeter in that unboxing video I am just going to show you this and boot it up I'm not going to hook up the oscilloscope or test anything on it in this video we're just going to set it up with the 110 volts and whatnot so let's see here okay so this is doesn't have a 110 switch. There's the back. You got a counter, auxiliary in out, 10 megahertz in out. You can hook a ground to it, land and USB uh, for connecting it to the computer and creating waveforms. Here is the front. Um, it is the Singlet CDG 1032X. It is a 30 megahertz, 150 um, samples per second. We will put it down like that and I will get the cord and hopefully have a spot to plug this in okay, plug this in the back here plugs into there we'll get this set up and I'll put the camera on the front of it There we go. I got one more plug spot, and that's for the power supply. Well, actually, I can, uh, I'm not going to use the other power supply, so let's go to this shot, and I can bring this in here like so. And I can display that like that. Now, that is odd. It didn't come with any any cables. No, no cables to no BNC cables to output any data. But I did purchase some separately. I got some alligator clip ones. They're not as good. They're not very good quality, but. For the outputs, let's go ahead and... Oh, it's a click switch. It's not a soft switch, so that's good. And we'll just see how long it takes to boot up. Take a look at it real quick. And in another video, um, I'm going to do a review on this. and Because this is my first uh, function generator. So I'm going to be taking a look. I'm mostly using it for digital, digital logic and things like that for clocks and things like that but um, I really like the singlet equipment I had their oscilloscope originally and you know I have uh, the, the digital multimeter and hopefully I end up with the function generator and I have my eye on their power supply and also their electronic load so that's all things I'm striving for so let's see we turn it on we have the two channels right now it says a sine wave 
um, let's see waveforms. So here I can do a square wave. One kilohertz. Can we turn that down? So there's one hertz right there. And you can adjust the duty cycle. So that's a 50% duty cycle. You can do phase and offset. Uh, amplitude. High level. High level is let's do five volts. And then low level is zero volts. So that would do a square wave from zero to five volts at a fifty percent duty cycle, and then you could change the duty cycle. You know, you could go up and down and you could you don't get the right duty cycle and you could use it for the Adreno and whatnot and then you know you have the two outputs over here output one output two and again you can hook this to the computer you can save waveforms I watched a few videos on how this stuff works so and then you have your different channels there's channel two still doing a sine wave and then channel one I believe you can mod the channels together and whatnot. So that is about as far as I'm going to go in this video because I'm going to get some information on it on how to use it, get it set up in my system. I want to put it right on top of the digital multimeter right up there. So right there's the digital multimeter, there's the oscilloscope. So I'm hoping to have all my singlet stuff up there and then I can do testing and then hopefully I can show you like that or I can put it on the computer screen and you can see the output of it on the videos but thank you guys for watching a little quick unboxing show you what's to come on the channel visit me on social media and if you so choose you can support me on patreon help me upgrade my equipment thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day